Joe hand you off to no. <laughs> the wise and slander of my best man, Chris. I reassured quite a lot of you yesterday that I was fine, I wasn't nervous, but it's too much to bricking it. I'm just lucky I'm wearing black, so it doesn't show off the sweat. Uh, first off, on behalf of the bridesmaids, ushers, and anyone else that helped out with the wedding, I'd like to thank Will for his toast. I'd like to add that the bridesmaids are all looking beautiful. Woo! But Sarah's got you beat. Sorry. I'd <laughs> also like to offer my own thanks right now. Will and I go back a long way, 20 years. I've known him since I was four. He's my brother from another mother. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to take this opportunity to thank Polly a number of other members of the family uh, for making me feel welcome and uh, part of the family and over the holidays in Aaron and uh, many of the family parties. It's an honour to be up here. I'd also like to thank Will uh, for choosing me. Something I didn't seem to express when he asked me for the first time to be best man. All that came out was, you're goddamn right I am. <laughs> <laughs> now, before I get on with the more embarrassing parts of the speech, I'd just like to th say that I've known Will so long that he's had the biggest influence on my sense of humour. So if you don't think the speech is funny, <laughs> I'm sure there are a few people surprised to be here today. I learned from Leslie at Christmas that for a while they thought Will was gay. <laughs> I'm sure the nail varnish, the long hair, and a, an occasional lipstick and eyeliner option. I like to mix it up every now and again. That didn't help the hetero image he was going for. Or the fact that I was always around. <laughs> I thanked everyone for making me feel like part of the family, but the truth is, I just kind of accepted it. <laughs> but in my defence, I didn't care if he was gay. He had a PlayStation. <laughs> <laughs> like it became one of the staples of the friendship. I remember the day Will just came over to the house and said, I have a PlayStation now, do you want to hang out? I was like, yes. <laughs> Friends ever since. But it's something that continues to this day. Well, I'm sure has never had aspirations to uh, win awards or sports medals over the years. But PlayStation games now have trophies. Damn the tenacity he has to get every single one of those trophies. <laughs> trophies! We need that. A couple of weeks will pass between seeing each other and he'll come back with, oh man, got a platinum trophy the other day. Sweet. <laughs> it's just like, yeah, so how are the wedding plans going? How's your speech? Nah, I'll wing it on the day, it's fine. <laughs> trophies! <laughs> Before Will moved to Aberdeen, many weekends after that, uh, we would spend the night drinking. Will wasn't into the whole club or dancing scene, which you'll kind of tell in the first dance. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> will all, all awes and clapping, so you know, just start to, no, cut the music, Jesus, I don't want to see that! <laughs> but we would stay up until 3 o'clock in the morning, watching countless episodes of The West Wing, because for some reason, hard drinking, uh, makes you want to watch an American political drama. <laughs> Marching God. <laughs> After that, Will would go to bed, and I would crash out on the couch and try to fall asleep. I emphasise try, because a few times after drinking, Will would sleepwalk. But I know what you're thinking, it's not that bad, it's not a big deal. But as a matter of comfort, Will would sleep naked. <laughs> Something I didn't know about until he was standing three feet away from me. <laughs> You've got to treat a naked worker like a bear attack. Just curl up in a ball, find a happy place, and wait until he's gone. <laughs> Will always had a tell when he was asleep. He made this smacking sound with his lip, like, like a cow in his ass. Sarah calls it his midnight meat sandwich. But when he's walking around, he kind of confuses the sound. Thinking I'm just going to look up and he's like, oh, I'm hungry, I don't know. <laughs> Massive sandwiches in his hands, but no, never happened. <laughs> About 18 months ago, Will decided to cut down the drinking and got himself into shape, which was annoying because he didn't have anything to laugh at him about. But with him, with him about. <laughs> but on one of the many trips offshore, we get a call from Will one day. I've already had this announced on Will's favourite podcast. Answer me this. But a few more people won't hurt his dignity. What's left of it? 
Will had scurvy. <laughs> yes, the pirate disease, disease has been cured for years. Will managed to be diagnosed with it in Sacklin. Even the doctor did a double take looking at the results. The disease has been non-existent for years. You don't even need to ask the doctor. Hang on. <laughs> what would you advise? What do you, what do you think I would advise? Eat some fruit for God's sake. <laughs> It's been great with Sarah getting to know her over the last 18 months. Probably the only adult that still swears like a child. Jabbies! <laughs> Sarah's great, but it can be hard to keep up with the conversation, even when it's between the two of us. Like the first time we met, Oh, Will says you're into Hollywood. Oh, did you really like Saul when he was like that? Did you really like Saul when he was like, oh man, was, what would you do if a zombie situation happened? National justice! <laughs> During this response, I was just, uh, well, um, yeah, okay. Uh, until she screams national justice and her finger flies at my nose and sticks there. I didn't even know what to say to that. After a moment, Will turned to his, sees the finger and sm Sarah smiling like she's holding up a kill trophy. And she, he just shrugs. Yeah, she does that sometimes. <laughs> I'm sure well, Sarah wasn't thinking when they were at Hindland Seconds together with Will's questionable sexuality that, hmm, he's going to be my husband. <laughs> and they did eventually get together years later, even to the surprise of each other, and it's the happiest I've ever seen Will without a controller in his hands. <laughs> and with the wedding plans, is the most stressed and annoyed I've ever seen him. With it, uh, <laughs> they have learned how to keep our relationship going, make an effort to share an interest and keep it fun. And Will's in mind this meant two player co op! More <laughs> 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 trophies that way! <laughs> when Will told me that he had, uh, Sarah had accepted his proposal, I was quite shocked. She had always seemed uh, the more intelligent of the two. <laughs> but here they are, married, for better or for worse. Will couldn't do any better, and Sarah couldn't do much worse. <laughs> Joe, please stand and help me wish Will and Sarah many happy years ago. Will and Sarah. Will and Sarah.